Okay, back with another video. Uh, quick update on the Bolins or the garage in general. Uh, let's start off with the Bolins. So, as you may have heard from the last video, if you even watched that yet, uh, I made a new exhaust for it. You know, muffler sitting right there on the tire, wheel, whatever. Uh, so, I basically just straight piped it. Like, straight down. Sounds nice. Uh, I had to swap the rear tires back, if I didn't already say that before. Uh, because the tractor treads, I guess you could call them. Well, they were starting to blow out. Too much dry rot, they were, they, they were just junk. So, that's all with this one. Uh, my latest project was this. Homemade trike. Or close enough to homemade. It's a go kart rear end welded onto the back of a scooter. It's the 8 horse to come see that came off the Bolins. And this chair is, well, was actually a desk from a school that I go to. You know, it's nice to get good things that they throw out. So, with this thing, all that needs is the jack shaft, a belt, small sprocket, and a chain, and then this thing should be drivable. And also, the gas tank, I always forget about that. So, there's that. You're wondering about the go-kart in the background that's a job I have I have to fix it and give it back to the guy I got it from of course the dirt bike still needs to coil um, that's all that's really wrong with that right now and then this go-kart belongs to the same guy as that go-kart uh, that thing is probably better off if it gets a new engine. Even though the engine runs, it smokes like hell. And I do not feel comfortable with that. So, there's that. Uh, this, dragged it back in, pulled the go-kart rear end off of. So, this will probably be heading to the scrapyard soon. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. Uh, the MTD back there. The belts keep slipping as they usually do. And the thing, well, the 18 horse, which is on it still, it keeps flooding out. That's it. So, that's all right now in the garage. Let me take you out to the other toys. Okay, here's the other two. Probably a lot better than, or a lot worse looking than you last saw it. Uh, yeah, first thing you may notice, besides the fender being gone and the hood off, uh, roof's gone. Most of the cab is gone. It's right here. <laughs> fender got torn off from getting hit uh, tore the cab off because well you know convertible I guess always wanted one uh, engine still runs fine still running off this little gas can tank whatever off the Bolins uh, stripped most of the interior that I could strip off uh, 
I obviously still have more to go. I do plan on building a roll cage for it. If the thing even survives long enough for that. Uh, that's about it for this one. And here's the Cavalier. Or the Crapalier. The Derby car thing. Uh, if you're, obviously you're going to be wondering why I have the thing up on its side. It is Well, bust the tranny pan jump in it if you didn't see those videos yet. I highly recommend watching those. Uh, busted the tranny pan so it leaked out tranny fluid and I put a hole in the gas tank. Of course. Uh, it's like way down at the bottom. Let's see if I can point it out like right there. I JB welded over the hole after putting a screw in it because you know, plug and then some sealer. Hey, works. Uh, in the tranny pan, I did not. I did not replace it, but I just put some sealer and JB weld all over the freaking thing, and it should hold fluid now. If it doesn't, oh well. It may just have a little leak. Uh, another thing about this is ever since I blew the radiator I found one that I had in the attic of the garage well as you can see by these two little brackets uh, I modified the car to fit this radiator of course the issue with that is well it's not held in at the bottom and the hoses are kinked well the bottom hose got ripped off but I, I would show you that, but there's no point in it. Uh, we located the computer up to here. It was originally down there, up front of the wheel, which is the worst place possible. Uh, blew the, what is it, power steering fluid lines off. So now it has no power steering. It runs on no fluid, like cooling fluid. And... Yeah, <laughs> well, it was fun. Uh, did a little derby between this and Yoda 2. Uh, of course, Yoda 2 won because, you know, the back of the frame pokes holes in the doors. <laughs> And I took an axe to it, just because. So, yeah, oh, yeah, uh, about the rear frame of this car. It buckled right underneath the wheel, as they usually do, these Canadian cars or whatever, but well, these Cavaliers in general, are known to rust out at that area. Like, right there, for example better and easier way to see that bed rail that we put in and welded to the front of the axle yeah it's nice <laughs> uh, so yeah the rear ends plowing down I did attempt to fold the sides in hold oh, let me get around this tree damn trees <laughs> uh, yeah I did fold the rear end in like the sides just to get a little bit of reg rigidity, whatever the word is. Uh, <laughs> I did tuck the trunk inside. It seems to be holding, I guess. I do plan to fold the whole rear end up into the uh, speaker deck, I guess it's called. So then, don't have to worry about it plowing. And I may take it out to power line this year if it runs because it's been on its side for about a week now and it's it just got done pouring rain so yeah 
you can see the old radiators right there or AC condenser both whatever uh, yeah that's all I got for this that's all I really got for today so stay tuned I will have a video of me dropping the car back down on all fours so yeah See you in the next video.